Well, we still have them. And it's really unusual, actually. I think Ting uh, Tandy must really like Tingana because generally speaking, it's the female that gets followed by the male, but she's keeping up with him. So I'm just, uh, we've got a bit of a roadblock going on, so I'm gonna go behind the bush and try and catch them on the other side. And as I say, it's the female's choice. If they really want to mate with the male, they will choose to mate with him. So let's see if we can catch up with Tingana, because he is such an impressive boy. I think he would have given Mufufunyana a run for his money in those days, because he was also a big male with a huge dewlap. And of course, Mufufunyana, we believe, is Tandy's father. He is a beautiful boy. Really on a mission. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to get a chance to get in front of him, but hopefully we'll get Tandy c crossing in front of us. And of course, Mufufunyan, we believe, is Tandy. Definitely, Rick, using the zigzag tracking method. So if you can't find the tracks, you do a little circle, and then you do a bigger circle and a bigger circle. definitely making sure his presence is known. Now, the, the calling won't really work now because the air has heated up so it won't carry very far. And actually, when they sent Mark as well, it smells like popcorn. It's quite a sweet smell. Hi, Justin. Justin wanting to know if we could smell the popcorn in the air. Unfortunately, I didn't get close enough to that bush. And the air, there's, there's no breeze this morning, so the air is very still. So I'm not able to smell it at the moment. Oh, Tandy's actually climbing a little tree. She's trying to get a nice vantage point. If I move back, you might be able to see her. I'll just move back slightly. It's just in that tree there. The other vehicles are moving, so I'm, just, I'm not going to move too much. I know it's not great light for you. As I say, we don't want to move constantly around them when they're stationary like this. I'm just uh, hiding the other vehicles out of sight. Uh, we were actually lucky enough to find uh, Karula one day uh, calling and trying to relocate her cubs, Induna and Mishu, but they were, they were quite old when they decided that they were independent enough not to have to rely on bringing in the food. So they were about... They've stopped moving. We're going to try and reposition ourselves, I think. Are you coming down? Are you can lie down. No, she says, I'm going to lie down, thank you. Oh, there we go. Typical.
see if we can get a nice cool leopard post. keeping a close watch on him so she might actually move if he strays too far see she's got a couple of things out of her left ear there was an alarm call from an impala i think tingan has been spotted Very, very special. Still hearing one or two impala snorting. I say, Tingana didn't look too bothered. Oh, and that. I wonder if she is. Okay, I've lost where Tingana went. I was expecting him to come out here, but she's looking that way, so I think he's gone further in there. Maybe he is following the sounds of the uh, the Impala. I'm not seeing him. Are you guys going to follow up? Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, Misha. Welcome on board. I hope you're enjoying our beautiful leopards. So I think they sing maybe Tingana up ahead. I'm going to try and keep on the tail. Sorry? Yeah, he's carry on moving. I think they're going to try and go around. We'll stick with them if we can. Let's see if she's gone. There she is. I'm seeing that what that's really helpful is that white tail, and that's what cubs actually follow. But uh, wanting to know if uh, males will still mark territory if they get older, and they will as long as they still hold on to the territory. But what tends to happen is uh, males are there and they've rejoined. Males will um, 
Oh, look at that. <laughs> there she goes. She's, in, she's asking him to mate. Look at this. And that's how quick it is. Okay, so we've definitely got confirmation that they are actually mating. So, I don't know if you saw, she was bouncing around him, tail wrapped around his neck, asking him to mate. She lay down for him. But as I said before about the barbs on the penis, And that's how quick it is. Okay, copy, no worries. Just let me know and I'll pull out for you. Ah, oh, they are going that way. It's coming back. <laughs> oh, that was magic. That's the second time I've ever seen leopards mating as well. Hopefully you got the audio of them. Really very, very special. Oh, Gillian, no. <laughs> Gillian blinked and she missed it. <laughs> it's all right, you can replay. <laughs> So she's on the termite mound here. He's just up ahead. I'm gonna try and see if I can sneak in under here. So at least this is fairly open. We're, we're able to follow them a little bit better than what it was. Yeah, she's just going in front of us. I'm gonna try and see if I can go around this side. Because basically I don't wanna get in between the two. So I'm trying not to disturb their behavior too much. That's why we're trying to stay behind them as much as we can. And then when they stop, then we can reposition. And Parla just here, also seeing. Uh, clearly they're not interested in feeding and that's usually the way when they're mating it's nothing else matters is that okay there i'm taking the branch with me but occasionally we have seen them uh, the lions mating eating so it's not always a strict rule there's the impala ears up snorting saying, hey, we've seen you, you can't, you, you can't sneak up on us. So you can see that posture there, just making sure they can keep an eye on where they've gone so they can't sneak up on them. Michelle and uh, asking if if there's any chance we'll see them mating again and there's possibly every every chance um, let's say as they get towards the end of the the mating they won't mate as regularly and I think that's what we're seeing now but it, you know when they are peaking when they are mating regularly it can be 15 every 15 20 minutes 
So set your watches and we'll see. <laughs> So they've circled back towards the plains again. And I think I was in the middle of actually answering a question about uh, older males. So if they get um, displaced by a younger male, which has obviously happened with Mvula and Tangana, Mvula still holds territory, so he'll still be marking territory. But if they get chased out completely and they can't hold onto a territory, then it's likely they will not be marking territory they may become nomadic. Can you still see them? Yeah. She's still in there? Yeah, I'm thinking they're coming back out again, aren't they? Yeah. trying to get a visual on them again. So they're still seeing, I think, Tingana up ahead. There he is, yeah. And I think Tandy was somewhere in here. Possibly heading back towards the drainage line. <laughs> sure, <laughs> they really are missioning. How exciting, hey? Sure. Nothing better. Hi, Chest. Welcome on board, asking if uh, female leopards undergo middle age. Um, we've actually had females uh, getting into their late teens still having cubs, which is amazing. Nice to you. you too. <laughs> Oh really? Oh brilliant. Uh, just about last week. I've got five more days and then I go again. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Yes, you can. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> so all the viewers are back home are loving this sighting. <laughs> As I'm sure you guys are. <laughs> just saying hello to a safari viewer apparently 2009 who's been watching absolutely magic and i believe we do have some other safari viewers on the vehicles this morning as well so i'm hoping they're loving the, these cats and obviously you can come to juma and actually see everything for yourselves So we're going to carry on keeping up with these beautiful cats and I think Tristan has some stunning water book for you to see so enjoy those and we'll be back soon.